Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and wherever you guys are, welcome again, tuning in to how to draw vehicles. So if you haven't watched the first episode, I highly recommend the first 10-15 minutes at least. I give you a quick introduction, I've given you a quick introduction of how to do a little bit of perspective drawing, what to do, especially with the vehicles, if the vehicles doesn't look proportionate or correct, doesn't matter how good your painting or your techniques are, it will slightly look slightly different. It'll look slightly odd. So for the exercise, uh, I'm using uh, 300 gram Saunders rough paper. I've got some uh, tissue and I've got a couple of synthetic brush. And on my right side, I have a John Pike palette. And for this exercise, uh, for this exercise, I'm going to just use a 0.7 pen. Uh, so the first episode, as I said, first episode I've done is do cars and semi truck. This one's going to be trucks for UK or semi truck for US people, and then maybe a bus. Uh, but I recommend again just to watch um, how to draw. So I'm assuming you've seen that one. So the first image I'm going to just do is is a simple why don't I just do a little on the top so that we got a little bit of room so the first one is a double decker iconic uh, bus so and a number plate and a big and it's got lights and even though you can't see the tires I'm just exaggerating it so that you can see what the tires look like so that would be a simple straightforward bus uh, not to forget and this because it's a bus it's got some sort of a dashboard and a steering wheel and there's some reflection and then there's two rows of light uh, I wouldn't wait too much of the details but this gives you an idea um, same thing if I want to do the other bus always perspective so if that's a perspective so I can do is think of a box and there's the other box which is slightly bigger yeah so two rectangles and the same So, so roughly half, I got half, and let's see, so there's two signboards, I'm going to try to be a little, I'm just focusing on proportions more than the details. So there's a white strip which continues all the way till here and in the center the radiator to the headlights and there's a, a bonnet uh, but some I'm not really sure what they are and there's the first tire you can make out and there's the second tire and Uh, 
that would be the second tire. So as I said, if you haven't watched the first episode on how to draw, I promise you this will make it a lot easier and understandable. Okay, so this one I'm going to just add a couple more bars and that's about it. Okay, the same thing with the other bars. So I have a mirror, continues in that direction, there's a big signpost, and the ad continues, and there's a signboard, and that goes all the way somewhere here. And there's a dough. There's a window, so to round, over here. It's a right hand for uh, UK, and there's a yellow bar, and there's a deflector. So, that would be a rough sketch, but still within perspective to give you an idea of how I would go about drawing that one. And let's do a couple of simple trades. Uh, maybe here. So I can see a little bit of top of the train. If you notice that, uh, three halves, and it's got an arch, and there's a black, then there's stuff going on, and the other one is slightly but the same little in the front. So, gives you some idea. And just to give a little bit of perspective, People. I know this exercise is not about people, but just gives you um, a reference on the size. So how big the train is, or could have been a little closer, but um, we can manage that. And the same thing from the side. <coughs> So you can't see the top. So always try to think something like that. Then there's uh, an AC. Uh, not all the way, but just there. So if I raise that. something right there and it's got a curved surface and it's got a curved surface so curved surface and it's got a I believe it's called a cow catcher so a door And continuing uh, 
do you see how I'm breaking down? The box is essential. So that particular box, if you understand how to do those primary boxes, then it's easy to manage from there. Yeah. Even with something so simple, you can get that trained feel because it's got the details. Okay. Uh, a semi truck. Uh, trucks very popular in America over here. Europe trucks look very much like the bus. Uh, very simple. But if I can do the trucks, let's do again. All I'm doing is the first one is a, a rectangle. The second one probably comes to here, but you can see a little bit of truck in the back. And there's another third truck, which you can see a little bit. So that would be one, two, and three. So I'm gonna split them into first, and then the windscreen, slightly curved, the Volvo, and the lights. and the tires and there's some stuff a little bit of random things we're going to try to create the same thing and there's a big trailer and it's got a different type of light and a big foam bumper that tire and then not much details but enough details to know that that's a truck and the third one it's got two small windows windscreen Big wiper, sorry, radiator, and that's about it. And coming from there, small details like that. And the fourth one, and the last one. I'm gonna do is the same thing. I'm gonna just do two trucks from this side, so you know. So headlight. So So that's the cargo. Big grill, the tire, the light. start somewhere just about there uh, it overlaps and then you can see the truck in the back so a 
I don't need to do too much details, but So I hope this gives you an idea how to draw. Everything is perspective. I can't uh, emphasize how much, how important it is, especially for a vehicle in a cityscape, which uh, you're about to paint or whenever you want to, when you guys are ready to paint, having an idea of a perspective. Everything think in terms of blocks, and then you will be, all set adding a little more details should be okay so color again is not super important uh, as long as you understand the tone so the tone should be lighter or darker so i'm using uh, the standard 10 i'm gonna try to use a slightly darker color Uh, a little bit of way. I will obviously come back and red. I will let it bleed. Oh, it's not dark enough. I'm just taking viridian red. Don't worry about details. We're going to add those details. I don't know whether you noticed that the paint went outside the line. So I pulled it back using a little bit of tissue. So always have a little bit of tissue with you. And I'm picking up a little more black for the tire and let I will let it bleed around that okay so that would be I'll continue the same thing for other two bus the other two bus I'm going to just use a very slight gray or some pigment whichever is there in the palette uh, I would run red cross so that one is black Uh, red and with the same brush I'm coming in adding a little bit of black let I'm not worried about bleeding in it's all right if it bleeds in and Little gray. There is one. I'm okay with it. I'll come back, obviously, make it a lot more darker. So So they got a little bit of blue add going on. So I'm just using a little bit of cerulean blue. By all means use slightly smaller brush if you guys are not comfortable. I'm just using a slightly wider brush because that's the way it's it's a sketch, uh, not to be too picky about it. 
and I'm going to try to leave that white gap out. That's a bit more characteristic. And go about just adding the colors, the bumper. Okay, and black will come back and then I'll make it dark. So if you haven't watched any of my paintings, every time I do a painting, I always do it in four layers. The first layer is the drawing, the next layer is the lower tones or the light tones, mid tones, and any highlights. Always one, two, three. For most of my drawings will be in these four tones. So I've already finished the drawing. I'm just doing the light tones. I'm going to do the mid tones and then I'm going to finish the high tones. And for um, the smaller train, I'm going to just use a smaller brush. Uh, for uh, I'm going to use some clean yellow. This is lemon yellow. I think that one is more of a Indian yellow, but uh, Indian yellow I don't have on my palette, so I'm just using a lemon yellow. Okay. So So the door, I'll pay a little attention to just to leave the whites. Okay, and having that, I'm going to come do the mirrors. As I said, I'm just paying a little attention not to leave the whites because the paint is slightly smaller, so I would just a little darker on the top and none of no paintings are actually really white so i'm going to just do a mix of very light gray and keep in mind once they dry you lose about 30 percent of the colors so when you're painting paint a little more bolder because you do lose a amount of okay and the track or the cow catcher and I think it's a little bit of burnt sienna I'm happy with that. So I'm just using a little bit of water and thinning it down. So it just gives an effect of dark to Okay, and okay, and that's almost uh, The yellow is too clean. I'll come back and then I'll make it a little more dirty, so to speak. So, same thing for the truck. I'll use a um, number six because there's not too many. 
Uh, this one, the first one is white, so I'm going to just use some gray. Yeah, the window. Okay, and fairly dark, but that's okay. And So I'm just trying to it's not complicated just uh, we'll come back okay and I'm going to do the same thing for the one in the back slightly darker um, Okay, that's it. We're just suggesting that there's a truck. Obviously the front one is the one which you pay attention. The one in the back. Okay, so same thing. That one, I barely, I'm gonna just do Just for the sake of changing colors, let's just do a slightly a different color. And then let's just leave. Okay, that's fine. The fourth one. I'll use a neutral color like a indigo for the for uh, the mirrors bluish and I will come back and then finish off with the second layer and he's got Okay, uh, I'm just using common palette at the moment. There's no rhyme or reason. Oh. That got a little dark, that's okay. Always have a little more. Okay, and there's a crimson red truck in the back. And it's got a gray bluish trailer. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to use a smaller brush and I'm going to start adding a few more details. So this one I've done with the drawing, I've done with the low tone, I'm going to do a, a mid tone and I'm going to start adding a few bits and bobs. So uh, as and where I feel it's needed. So it just gives you a reference of there's some shadow going on mm -hmm. 
Okay. All right. There's That's enough. There's some stuff which is going on. It doesn't have to be details, it just gives you some interesting things going on. I will just come back. Make it slightly darker, and then I will go suggest a driver sitting there with some reference, and it's got a yellow mirror. I'm going to darken it just to make it 2D. Okay. okay, and there's a little bit of sign, and I will just come in with the light, gives you some indication that I'm going to be using live pigment I'm just putting it at an angle just to give you and there's a little bit of chrome small details and daylight why not and I'm going to come back and then do the highlights but that one could have been a little more redder to be honest but it still looks like a bus and i'm happy with it i'm gonna come back darken that a little more Dark here, dark there, dark a little bit. And always, always add a little bit of shadow. So that is the completion of the first one and I think I'm going to do a little I think I'm not just happy with the red I'm just adding a little more red to bounce it up yeah that's fine So it's a matter of this one is supposed to be the first layer should have been this bright, but and I'm going ahead with adding a few more details just to give that there is some reflection going on. Uh, same thing with needs to be dark a lot more darker sign. And there's some stuff going on. There's some ad. So I'm going to come back, make that a lot darker. That's a round sign.
Just a little bit of details. Makes something is going up. There's a bit of a mystery. There's a person, there's maybe there's another person, who knows? Okay. So the same thing, we're gonna come back. There's a barcode. More, little more details. A little bit of fuzzy details. Okay, so. So there's a, a driver and okay i will leave that and always add a little bit of shadows Okay, that's it. And I'll come back with a little bit of light. So, the light, the light, that one, light, light, maybe there's a chrome. Why not? Okay, so while I'm here, let me just add a little more white light. Okay, and for the trucks. Bumper, a little bit of chrome, that should do. And I'm going to add a little more details to make the train look like the train. So I'm coming over here, adding a little more mystery to the painting. Um, so there's some stuff going on. And Add a little more dark on one side. Okay. Add uh, something going on. Doesn't have to be accurate, it just gives a feeling that there is stuff going on. There's no, I'm not sure how the electrical system I can't make out from the picture, but always, always don't forget the shadows is what anchors so I'm going to just add a couple of suggestions. Bear with me, I'm almost there. I'm just adding a little more dirt. Shouldn't look that clean. And okay. 
ですね。Voila. Okay. All right. I'm happy with that. The last is a set of trucks. Okay. So it needs a little more. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. And okay. So the light is on one side. So I'm just adding a shadow. Oh. On one side. That makes it look like it's got enough going on. And the same thing. I'm just using different shades of gray, to be honest. Just on the side. And don't forget to add the shadows. That. It's not there, but you just it accentuates a little more. And I'm going to just do a final so the bonnet. Okay, so the same thing over here. Uh, something is going on. There's a mirror, and there's a light on one side, so I'm going to just add a little more shadow towards the other side. And more around the fender. Almost done. Same thing. A little more shadow on one side so that there is a light. You know which side the shadow it works. And to complete, don't forget to to anchor it. So there is shadow on the other side. Here we go. So that uh, is an idea how to paint uh, trucks, trains and bus. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like and consider subscribing to the video and hit that notification button so that you don't miss other uh, video. Till next time, hopefully the next video is going to be motorbikes and cycle and I will see you soon. Bye.